Potlatch is actually a Chinook word for bringing people together to commemorate a, an important milestone. Birth, marriage, death. Each one of those transformations is commemorated with a feast. They would prepare for a long time. Four years from now, we'll have a big feast. The gatherings were hosted by a chief and his family and included feasting, songs, and dances. At the end of the potlatch, the host will give gifts to everybody to thank them for coming to witness the ceremonies. That was our way of passing down knowledge, passing it down to our children. It was a way for our people to uh, keep their history alive. Of course, it uh, makes me feel angry. We weren't allowed to gather more than four people at a time. People had to go underground to secretly continue our ceremonies. My father held a potlatch in Village Island. A lot of the people that attended it were arrested. 26 were sent to prison. I remember when we could not speak our own language wear our traditional clothes, or celebrate with the potlatch. They wanted to make us like them. We are burdened to this day with great sadness and anger. The potlatch survived only because our elders refused to be silenced. We will dance when our laws command us to dance. And we will feast when our hearts desire to feast. Let the white man observe his law. We shall observe ours.